Hey YouTube, Antibeta1 in here and welcome back to my channel. I have some interesting news about my channel. Um, my latest video uh, on the update in my life in which I lost $40,000 $40, in crypto, that one, uh, has an increased watch time of about eight and a half minutes. So that means that people are actually watching my videos for a much longer time. And the reason for that, of course, seems to be the fact that I'm actually talking in a much more fluid and interesting manner. Um, so that's really interesting to me. I can't do it all the time and sometimes I just um, flake out and 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 just have nothing to say but um, when I speak well it seems to be that people obviously watch me for longer so that's really really good news. That's all I want to say about that. Um, I've been watching a little bit of Patricia Nona. She had a live stream and she was like talking very sparsely in her in her live stream. She was like sitting there saying very very little and I thought she's got four and a half thousand subscribers and I've got like um, 74 and uh, she can say absolutely nothing and still get that many subscribers and the interesting thing is um, it's I think when she has when she's able to talk she can talk her head off and she can talk really eloquently and not everyone has that talent I didn't have that talent for a long time and I probably still struggle to speak as eloquently and as fluidly as I as I possibly could potentially when I when I have the full confidence to do so. So please do encourage me and thank you very much for for joining me today. I have a few topics um, that I want to speak about. Let me just bring up my list here. So one of them is to do with um ah uh, yes I'm going to talk about dubious topics in the vegan movement uh, in, and, and the vegan nationalist movement. So when we talk about statistics, for example, um, there's a lot of statistics of, which are not available on the internet. And the reason for that is they're not, there's no demand for them. So if we think about things like how much a human consumes in terms of water, land and resources in the course of his or her lifetime, the statistics on that are when you Google for it, are simply not available. And w as vegans and as vegan natalists, I think there's a, necess a necessity to create a demand for those st statistics. It's unfortunate that they don't exist, and it's unfortunate that we have to kind of work them out ourselves. I actually calculated out of my own mathematical calculations that the average human in the course of an 82 or 83 year lifespan consumes about 80, as consumes about 3 million gallons of water. Um, I don't know how much land it consumes, but obviously that's quite incalculable. It's very much harder to calculate how much land a human actually consumes. Um, but it would be quite sizable, especially if they're not vegan. So a non-vegan will consume considerably more land um, and cause damage and waste and obviously consume and contribute to waste products a lot more than a non-vegan would. So it's important to keep that in mind. The other thing, of course, to keep in mind is that... Um, uh, so the other example I want to bring up is the idea of vegan cats, because vegan cats is a very good example of um, research which is still, in, still a very dubious example. People don't know whether vegan cats... whether it's possible to raise a cat vegan. And I, it would be interesting to find out the truth for sure. But if you uh, are an experienced vegan like I am, and you've been looking through all the vegan posts on YouTube, on on Facebook, and you know even in places like Reddit or Instagram, you'll find that the jury the jury is still out on whether having a vegan cat is actually possible. I believe that most vegans do not raise their cats vegan. That means they feed their cats meat, which is obviously quite an anti or non-vegan thing to do. But I do know that there are some vegan cats and whether they survive and thrive on a vegan diet is not clear to me because vegan because cats are intrinsically carnivores. And if you supplement their diet, um, it may be possible for them to live that way, but I'm not entirely sure. So if you do have any advice for me on that particular topic and you, do, and you believe that you know the answer to this question, can cats be raised vegan, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to review them and learn more about the truth about those 
uh, about that. So yeah, statistics are, and facts about vegan cats. Yeah, this is kind of really weird and something that not everybody knows about and very few people know about. And I think that the more that we learn about statistics, the more that we can find statistics that we find useful to the vegan movement. For example, um, and there was another one which I brought up in, in Vegans in Australia, which was heavily berated by the vegans in that community, where I mentioned um, how much money various animals have earned for humans. Um, for example, Winx, the racehorse, how much money they've earned and how much money various animals have spent, have been spent on by humans. There was the, a picture of a fish which had been given life support and allowed to float um, from, a, from a particular device, which was obviously cost a lot of money. So I wanted to know how much money was spent on that particular device. If we can get all those statistics together, we can get a better idea of how much animals are exploited and how much they're not exploited uh, in the society that we live in. So these sorts of things are very interesting and very important for all of us. So I encourage all of you to look into the statistics and I encourage all of you to investigate further into getting the real data for us to learn more about the world around us. Okay, that's all for me today. It was a bit of a funny spiel today, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video and bye for now.